as they were walking along the road, a man said to Jesus, I'll follow you wherever you go. Jesus replied, Foxes have holes, and the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Jesus is very blunt with this man. There is a cost for following Jesus. Following Jesus does not guarantee wealth or comfort or even friends. There is a cost. Now, maybe you look back at history, especially right here, as Jesus is literally going to Jerusalem to die, and you say, well, obviously there's a cost there. But today, is it really a cost? I mean, you just go to church on Sunday morning or some other time during the week, and you're fine. But it's not that easy. See, maybe you can go to church and that the cost is an hour, maybe two of your time. But if you take this Jesus thing seriously, there is a huge cost. Jesus has said earlier, you must deny yourself and take up your cross and follow him. We have sinful natures that hate Jesus and does not want to give up its sin. There is a cost to giving up sin to yourself. The sinful nature, a human world around us, hates people who really follow Jesus. There is a cost involved. Are you willing to pay it? We're going to talk about that this week. But I want to start by reminding you of something that Jesus paid the cost for you. He thought you were worth the cost, and he paid it. Not with gold or silver, but with his holy precious blood and his innocent suffering and death.